a little bit expensive. The Samwise combo is if you have Samwise Gamgee and you play a Cauldron Familiar, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you make a food. If you have a way of sacking the Cauldron Familiar, such as a Viscerous Seer, you just infinitely drain your opponent. We'll keep this in. Looks decent enough. An OG Tuman. Play a Halfling. Not playing as Burn this time. Back this in, pass with Bowmaster. We'll play a play in X1. Not a Ledger Shredder. And it's a Ledger Shredder. Ledger Shredder with no bobble. On a please. Oh, I guess I could ping them and then I could force the connive, ping them, make another, get a plus one plus one counter up here. I think I'm down to force the connive. Doesn't seem like the worst thing. <laughs> Trigger. Ping you. Pumps my thing. They probably have a removal spell or multiple. Second bird. Oh, it just wants me to trigger those. Am wise. Unfortunately, I don't have a creature to trigger it right away. I need something to ETB. Hmm. I guess I could sack this. That's interesting. Yeah, we're gonna revisit the Flame of a Nord deck. Let me change the title. Samwise combo. Can't quite combo yet. Yeah, we're gonna revisit it later. There were some problems with the list. I need my opponent to Ledger Shredder trigger. If they do, we can win the game. Barring a removal spell, of course. Was non-token? Never mind. Hmm. Sucks. I misread the card. It was non-token. These bow masters have been doing a decent chunk of work, though. All right, now we know. They have a spell pierce. Probably, right? I could try to go for the combo here. That plays in the spell pierce. I could just play Yogg. Yogg's not that good here. I think I just hope they don't have spell pierce. And then be sad when they do have spell pierce. Yep, that sounds about right. Vamp playable. I think you probably just play in four color instead, right? And you also get access to Ren and Six. Bowmaster is like slowly killing my opponent for what it's worth. I'm dead to lightning bolt though. Peatland. Alright, let's play Yogg. And we can get something done here. Good chance this will let me let them connive. As long as I hit decently well anyways. And I think we're dead here. I can't beat them. Oop. Samwise combo is Samwise plus Cauldron Familiar plus Viscerous here. Goes infinite and kills your opponent. Definitely want all the endurances in this matchup. I don't think I hate Tyvar either. Yeah, I crack I ended up cracking him before the stream because I had to get cards. I didn't crack anything good from Lord of the Rings. I ended up cracking a Nissa and like an Orvar. Those are my best 
bowls wasn't amazing. No oh, bowmaster seems good though. I go down on grists. I trim a quarter calling or two. This is a collected company deck, and I don't want to have too many non creatures. Also, oven doesn't do anything to help combo. I want the scavenging ooze, right? Quarter calling is just better than finale. Awkward. No mana dork. Mm. I'm holding this hand. So we'll keep this one. Put back cord. I don't even know if it's right to put back cord. I'm not supposed to put back something else. Oh shit, I was supposed to get stupid godly shrine. I was like looking at my endurance, I was like, I need more green, but I have Yabamaya. So I should have gotten Godless Shrine here, that was a mistake. So the combo works, you need Cauldron Familiar, plus Samwise, plus something else, plus Viscerous here, or any sack outlet, and then you just combo off, go infinite. Because whenever cat ETBs, you make a food, sack the cat, oh, the cat's gone. I messed up, I misfetched. Probably gonna cost me, huh? Probably, probably gonna cost me. I don't have Blood Moon. Orcish Bow Masters. Let's see what they do. Kill my dude. Make a scry. I don't think I want that. Don't want endurance them now. Go wait on the endurance. No, I don't have any other plans with Bowmaster right now. Blood Moon? That's kind of decent against Tef. Unless they plus it, which they did. And it's not so good. Yeah, it's such a good legacy staple. Heart's amazing in legacy. What's up, Komen? I guess I'm sending Endurance and the token over at Tev. You did Genic Growth in your Breach deck? Alright. Definitely was not expecting that. That one caught me off guard for sure. Alright, what I was supposed to fetch, turn one, I will fetch now. Get the Samwise out. Except Gigantha. Still gonna work on killing that Tiff. I don't think I'm gonna draw a card here. Because I could top deck a collected company. Alright, now I'll draw a card. Through another land. Birds O oh, Paradise. I'm gonna send the Endurance over. At Tef, Tef down, shock this in, go Samwise and the birds, pass the turn, make a food. Has DT said anything about Bowmaster? I haven't talked to DT in a while. So not as far as I know. I think Birds of Paradise is probably just better than Goose. Still, I don't know. I could play Goose, I guess. I don't know what a friendly league is. I assume it's a normal league, but with lower stakes, probably. Bouncing back endurance. Oh, getting to kill Teferi here seems pretty good. So now I can just flash endurance back in. I feel like the opponent has made a mistake here. <laughs> Flash endurance back in. And I get to make a food. Sign me up. What's the bow master now? Second so chump with the bird. Do think I want to keep my life total high? So I can return a historic card from my griever to my hand, but I don't really have any worth returning. 
I think I'm going to send in with these three. Play the cat, make a food. Yeah, I can return another Samwise, but that could be necessary right now. Hydro Shredder. Iteration Trigger. This went from being a combo deck to a mediocre beatdown deck real fast. He has three foods, which is quite a bit. I'll probably return it, right? I guess if I don't return it, then they're just like dead. Yeah, I'll just let it go. They're just like dead, right? Attack with everything. Oh, I could attack with the cat, return the cat. Put them to one. I attack with everything, then they just block here, block here, and then let the cat go through. So they're not quite dead. They need to deal with this cat somehow. They need a pending for the cat to be specific. You indeed have it. What am I drawing? Wall of Roots. Uh, not the best thing I've seen. I mean, they needed to find pending, right? If not, they're just dead to me returning cat to these food tokens. So if I return Sam, then I have to sacrifice all the food tokens. So I think saying return Sam is, like, very hindsight. Yeah, Sam plus cat plus outlet is infinite. I don't think it's fair to be like, oh, you should have returned Samwise because they found the pending. And it's like, well, not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah, listening to Lord of the Rings music. No, I wouldn't have gotten a food back for bringing back Sam. Sam requires another creature to eat to be. Oh, that sucks. I need this wall of roots to survive now. Thinking out endurance. Quarter calling? So we gotta eat a bunch of food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all Spider-Man's victims again. I guess we can't even cast Quarter Calling. We need to find exactly Collect the Gum Up. They killed us. Well, damn. Collect the Company. That have won us the game. Yep, would have found the Cauldron Familiar. What's the other green Dwarven Mine? have to run all forests which is kind of awkward yeah maybe goose is just better than birds of paradise yeah gingerbread cabin terminate i'm gonna try to scry land at the top here put that on the bottom because i really don't want my opponent hitting that with ragavan Oven's just awkward in the Collected Company deck, which is what I was trying to avoid. Speaking of Collected Company. I just play the Halfling here. Mountain with no art. I think I might Endurance this Pitch Quarter Calling, because I can't even hardcast Endurance next turn. And this quarter calling is going to be dead in my hand for forever. I'm just going to endurance here. Probably not correct. I think we're pretty far behind this game. 
I think our best draw would probably be Grist. Play Birds if we have Quarter Calling. Or, uh, Collect the Company. Wrong C card. Alright, opponent. Don't fury me. Please, don't fury me. I beg of you. Have a heart. And they only discarded one of this fable, so they're probably gonna fury me. Pass is the turn. I think I just pass with the collected company. Yeah, we lost the, our opponent being at one life. They found the pending. Had so much card selection. Take another two here. I'm gonna go for the end step, Coco. Play around Fury. Yes, the first league with the Samwise combo. Our first league with Flame of an Order did not go so well, but I also queued into Burn three times. A halfling and a Grist. Aldrin familiar. We're gonna go Samwise. Hmm. Could do better than that. I guess I could go Wall of Roots, Samwise, Cauldron Familiar. Yeah, I have to start with Wall of Roots. I have to spend the green and the white off the Halfling and then the black man off the Cauldron Familiar. So I'm going to miss out on one food token here, but it's probably not that big of a deal. I think I kill Fury. Could kill Reflection. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill Fury or Reflection here. No, I need a sack outlet, which I don't have. I think I'm going to kill Reflection. If I kill the Fury and they have an undying effect, I'm screwed. We're kind of playing everybody in Street Fighter 6. I'm going to kill the Reflection. This is a Gris, not a Tyvar. Alright, good thing I didn't kill the Fury, because that would have been absolutely devastating. So I think we made a relatively decent heads up play here. Um, let's bring back the cat now, so I can guarantee my food. Actually, probably not turn off auto yields. Been Thoughtseize. Just thought sees, nothing else. Fatal push, same wise. Yep. And I forget how difficult it is to play creature decks in modern. Everything I grist, grist is dead. We need to hit like another Coco here. Or a wall. <laughs> Not sure what a wall does for me. And that's really bad too. Oh, I should have blocked here too. Could have saved myself two points of life. Not that I think it matters because I'm pretty sure we're on a zero outer now. Could be worse. Could be a Dothy. Oh, it's a Dothy. Yeah, we're on the zero outer. Alright, let's try to get some Planeswalkers in here. A little bit of Tyvar, more Endurance. Try out the Urborg Scavenger and the Scavenging Ooze. Not sure how good they're going to be. At least try them out. I think Bowmaster's really weak in this matchup, so I probably don't need that. I think Yogmoth's good, though. Quarter Calling could be trimmed. Infinite Removal. Maybe I'd trim, like, two Birds of Paradise and a wall. Ah, yes. Bowmaster against Yogg. Two mana, die immediately to Yogg. A classic. Oh, we got Cat, um, Cat and a Samwise, just missing a Viscerous here, I think we keep this put back Coco for now. My Samwise, my Tyvar, my Grist. Peace out, Manny, thanks for hanging.
I will catch you later. Took my tie bar. So rude opponent. Play Sammy boy. Send him the cauldron familiar. Now I don't have basic plans. This is our only white card in the deck. Feels bad, man. Yeah, we actually don't run white cards. Sorry, I misspoke. No white cards here. Dragster. One is definitely not onto our endurance. You love to see it. Get our forest. Probably. I mean, we're playing a creature combo deck, so Yuri is going to be absolutely devastating against us. We're probably also not playing like an optimal build of this deck because it's just the first draft, of course. But I think it's going to suffer the same problem that Devoted Druid combo does. Just infinite removal plus Fury. Probably too good. Mm-hmm. Well, I really don't want to play this Grist out in a Doth aim, but I'm going to have to. Got rid of a Blooming Marsh. Yeah, this deck feels very reminiscent of Devoted Druid to me. And so far it's kind of playing out the same way, where it's like... You run into the matchups that aren't interacting with you super heavily, you're probably very favored. But if you just run into like Mono Interactive decks, you're just going to have a bad time. Spike played the shell with Asmo earlier and got absolutely dumpstered. So I'm not sure Asmo's the answer either. Oops, all interaction. Doom 4 wanted Spike's list. I don't know, I feel like Urza Saga plus Samwise is very awkward. No, no Boromir in this list. Play Sam in a devoted Druid deck. I don't think Sam fits in a devoted Druid deck. Sending it at me, huh? Like, what does Sam add to that deck? I guess is my question. I have an undying effect. I'm not going to fall for it. All the Lord of the Rings cards are in chests right now. And the One Ring is like a million dollars, and the Orcish Bowmasters is also like a million dollars. So, chest EVs close to three tickets right now. Instead of like two and a half, it adds content to Thirsty Thursday, but it's Tuesday. Now you're gonna kill my grist, huh? But there's no alliteration on Thirsty Tuesday, it have to be like Thirsty Tuesday. Ah, uh, grist ooze, I guess. Why the two best? Yeah, I'm trying it today, Goon. After this. What the fuck, Moto? Did I not click all of them? Oh my god. Mm. Magic Online Digital Object. You make me so mad sometimes. This is Spike's fault. I agree. I'm gonna play Flame of Anor more later. I think my build sucked. So I'll probably revisit it either tomorrow or if we scrub out with all the decks, we'll revisit it today. Yeah, that card's great in Legacy. Definitely amazing in Legacy. MTGO prices care more about Legacy cards than paper prices. I'll tell you that much. People actually play Legacy on Moto instead of paper. In paper, all the prices are high because of Commander. Nobody really plays Commander on Moto. Let me buy that Paper Tabernacle then, since it has no use. So you just named a Reserve List card as an argument? Not a good argument. They're gonna flash in Endurance, probably. They flash in my Endurance, they have two blockers. Go to one. I kill the Ragster. They have an Undying Effect. I think I just sack the birds, kill the rags, or swing with everything. No, you're not going to be able to rent one rings for a while. But like a week. 
typically have to wait a week before you can rent anything from a new set. I had to purchase everything that I'm playing today. How'd Spike find them so fast? Kurt Bros hooked them up. Okay, Kurt Bros is definitely not Pullet Watsy. Kurt Bros is just a homie that helps streamers. Kurt Bros has actually got me like Leyline Bindings and a bunch of other cards day one. Got me Nissa's day one. Bundle does not have one rings in it. Bundles have Samwise Game Genome. Oh, I'm swinging with everything. Terminate. So we're gonna go to one here. Yeah, that miss point from Moto just bugging the hell out. I like I'm pretty sure I clicked on all those insect tokens that one turn. I feel like I did. If any bundles have Rosie, I'm not sure. I didn't need to pick up Rosie for the Scurio combo deck that I'm gonna build tomorrow. It's another deck I need to play. I'll probably have the same problems as the Samwise deck. It's very weak to removal. At least that's a two card combo instead of a three card combo. He took my cat. I want this pylon. First your spell bomb on your sideboard. Mm, I usually like to split them. I don't want to cut. I gotta cut one card here. Wrist definitely seems like the best card in the matchup. It's got another cord. Let's keep this. It's full of mana dorks. At least these mana dorks are somewhat more resilient to fury. Only somewhat though. Turn one ragster. I do like the delighted halfling trades for Ragavan also. Kind of a nice quality of life buff. So, yeah, I don't I don't want all this mana, so I can just trade. Unless they do that. Very rude opponent. Wow, well, halfling go. I think I'm definitely still gonna try to trade this halfling. Imagine they won't let me. At least I can't hard cast for you this soon. I could cast a grief though. Morgan's command, my bird. I think I'm just gonna cast an endurance. Like cast wall and then pass and block. I think I like casting endurance a little bit more here. I mean, Bowmaster is also a new card, so supply and demand is going to be more expensive and inflated right now than it will be a week from now. Absolutely. Good card. It's not forty dollars. Good though. I'll probably settle to like twenty. Buy whatever late line bindings at. Nazgul's are twenty dollar uncommon. Certain arts of Nazgul are twenty dollar uncommons. All more money, really. Like only certain art ones would be money. Actually, surprising to me. E E on three, fuck, uh, really good. Which of my two three drops do you want, opponent? Is the album my has betrayed me? Gonna bolt wall. Not gonna bolt wall. No, now we have Urborg and Yabamaya. We're talking about how cool this Urborg art is. The Dead Marshes, sweet as hell. Don't fury me. Alright, I'm gonna pass the turn again. Maybe I should attack. 
Hmm, if I double block, I need to deal with Gris because Gris ult kills them right now. If they can't deal damage to Gris, then Gris ult just wins. Damn, you actually had them send it back. A whole $5 card. Are you? Alright, well, we beat Scam. And by we, I mean Grist beat Scam. That's kind of a good look. A little bit awkward here. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit awkward. I probably have to mulligan this hand, right? Just can't cast the majority of my spells. It's a one lander, but it's got two mana dorks in it. Go back to quarter calling. Hope they're not an interactive deck. That's the play. Maybe I keep the quarter calling. So I could cord for a cat early. Put back the bowmaster. Put back the bowmaster here. See if we can combo. Maybe they're playing like hammer. Right, Jebediah? You'd play a hammer. You sound like a person that would play hammer. That's not hammer. Oh, that's scam. Okay. Ah, feels bad, man. Bowmaster was actually pretty impressive. Yeah, mono black hammer. Mono black scammer. I guess I'm gonna play out my things and scoop to a fury. Grist? Not a grist. I think full art Rosie's kinda sweet. Goodie. Alright, no more Lord of the Rings music, it's giving us bad omens. I don't even know what I could possibly find. What's happening in the Samwise Showcase art? He's opening... No, he's looking at a bowl. Is that a chest? What part of the movie was this? I don't know. He's like turned around looking at something. Imagine flaming my day one brew by calling it Budget Devoted Druid. Unbelievable. Let me cook, chat. Let me cook. I swear sometimes chat's like... I can't wait to see these brews so I can just flame the hell out of them when they don't work as intended. I know Spike was dealing with that earlier too. <laughs> this is very funny. Spike was just like, shut up chat, let me cook. Yeah, this game is probably our worst matchup. For you, a banger of a song. What did I cut last time? All right, the Bone Masters. Yeah, we got one Necroplasm to cord for. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty resilient to getting scammed by grief, anyways. Can I really keep this? I'm keeping it. It's not going to work out very well for me. That's okay. Cope. Surely we'll be fine, right? Just going to get a basic. I think Halfling's been, like, overall pretty good, though. Halfling is definitely the best mana dork they've printed in a while. I was kind of wrong about this card. You know, I'll say it. I was wrong about the card. I think this card's really good. After playing it. I don't know if I'm supposed to go... Oh, all right. Didn't matter what I played. I guess if I played Viscerous here, I could have scratched at least. I'm gonna play Temp Deck. I don't think it would be very good. Yeah, it probably goes in Yogg. I don't know. Yogg doesn't have like a ton of legendary things though, so maybe it just goes in something that's full of Planeswalkers instead. Yeah, the Flame of a Nord deck went very poorly, but we queued into. <laughs> We queued in a burn, 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 so we didn't get a whole lot of a uh, matchup spread. I 
Evet. On to the next. Just got super scammed. It's a one lander, but it's got the full combo in it. I'm gonna try it. Just gonna hope to rip a couple lands here. Misty Rainforest? Is it something interactive? Probably. Start with our Mandork. No! Oh, it's living in. But also, like, damn, I don't know if I can be living in. Hmm. I just play Bird and Pass. I wish I could play both Bird and Viscerous here, but Halfling doesn't allow me to do that. One of the downsides of it. Well, if they don't have Violent Outburst, they have Violent Outburst, we just pack it up. Yeah, next turn, if we draw a land, we win. Assuming they have nothing. Don't cast a Shardless Agent, please. I'm F6. At least post board we have four endurances. We have three Dranith Magistrates. Boarding up to four endurances. Scavengers, Urborg Scavengers. We have a lot of things post board. Game one's gonna be rough. I mean, worst case scenario, they just take one of these two if they do have the Fallen Outburst. And just take Quarter Calling. It's the old tank, 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 shardless agent. Drain Magistrate. Scavengers. Endurance. Ooze. Actually, Bowmaster's not that bad against them. I think Grist is pretty bad. I think we lose that game anyways. Pretty much no matter what we do. Grist is not good, and then... Probably trim the Yogg, it's really expensive. Got a wall of roots. Two wall of roots, and like a cord. What's up, Coleman? Thanks for hanging. I appreciate you. Mm hmm. I think it's a mulligan. It's like the same hand, but better. Go back to your Borg Scavengers. I think it could be good, but. I think we're also pretty close to conjure or comboing. I almost said like conjuring off. <laughs> About to conjure off on them. It's been my favorite Lord of the Rings cards to play with so far. Honestly, probably Orcish Bow Masters has been the coolest. I thought I was going to like Flame of Nor more. I can wait a turn on this. So I'll just play Viscerous here. Leave up Orcish Bowmaster when they go to cycle. A hey, Doomwake. Thank you for the raid. How was modern? I know you were deep in the modern depths today. How was it? What's the most noticeable interaction you've seen with the Orcish Bowmasters? Ledger Shredder. It's crazy good against Ledger Shredder. Because you can just force the connive and then just ping him. Which I think is super cool. Magistrate so I don't die. So for those of you joining us now, we are playing some Samwise Gamgee combo, which involves casting Samwise Gamgee and having Viscerous here plus a uh, cat. I forget the cat's actual name. I think it's Cauldron Familiar. I always just call it cat. So those three on board is an instant win because you drain your opponent for infinite. Hang you, grow my dude. I guess I shouldn't always yield because I might want to Viscerous here sack something. Maybe Flames of Anor is a Jeskai control card. I'll work on that for tomorrow. Just build like some sort of Jeskai control deck instead of just straight blue red. I was trying to put in like a Murktide shell, but I'm not sure it's great in a Murktide shell. Seems kind of expensive for the 20 lands that Murktide's playing. The opponent gave up. They just want to see my hand. They just want to see their imminent doom. Run it back. How many changes here? Yeah, Orcish Bowmasters lines up incredibly well against Ledger Shredder. 
out of the blue red decks. It doesn't survive for very long. We're getting the initial pings is kind of nice. And it also kills Raghavan. So if you're on the draw, if you're on the play rather, you go turn one whatever, your opponent goes turn one Raghavan, you go turn two Orcish Bow Master, you can just kill it. Yeah, I played the Snapcaster in Nord deck and I went very poorly because we queued into burn three times. We went burn, 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 and we lost all of them. I'm going to keep this hand pretty much solely off the back of Endurance. Our mana looks really bad here. But we could always top deck a green source also. Now we'll play turn one Viscerous here. I think the Endurance is going to give us a lot of time. On the cycle. Alright, now we hit our green source. If it's a Dreadhord Arcanist, probably not. I think I'd rather just play it in a control shell instead. Not sure what that control shell looks like though. Probably only playing Snapcaster is the only wizard. So I think the card is just good without wizards. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to main phase this Coco. I could have force. Not sure they left in any forces. Oh, it's all mana dorks. It's all mana dorks. Always has been. Alright. Grab myself a couple of mana dorks, I guess. I was really looking for a Dranith Magistrate there, but we missed. Click. I wish Click was playable. Alas, Click is a relic of the past. Like cool. Shard Shardless Agent. Badness. I think I got all my mana dorks back. Mm -hmm. So if we can scry. Oh. Yeah, just scry to Samwise and then win. Assuming they don't have another subtlety. Convenient. Alright, first sighting of the combo. We just do this over and over and they just die. They just die. Spike wasn't playing this combo. Spike was playing a different combo. Yeah. Actually, I don't even think Spike had a combo in his. She's playing it for value. Was he playing Sears as a one of? I didn't even notice. I didn't look at his list super closely. is making me kill them. Alrighty. Let's do a quick prediction chat and then I'm going to queue up and use the restroom. So, will we 3 2? Man looks gas. Man seems real good. Probably the best hand I've gotten so far. And it's got none of the combo pieces in it, <laughs> but it has the ability to find all of them. Temple Garden. Yeah, we're jamming some Samwise combo. Or if you're asking what the Samwise combo is, it's Viscerous here plus Samwise plus Cat. Oriok Champion. Opponent's also playing a combo deck. 
neat. That halfling is drinking adult juice. Is that sustainable for a game aimed at 13 year olds? Nah, there's no way. It's just. What? What is this? Arwen. Hold on. Time to put on my spectacles. What does this do? Arwen. Three mana 2 2. When it enters the battlefield, put an indestructible counter on it. Remove an indestructible counter from Arwen. Another target creature gains indestructible. Put a plus one plus one counter and a lifeline counter on that creature, and a plus one plus one counter and a lifeline counter on Arwen. I don't know if there's a combo. I thought they were playing Heliod Spike Peter. But it might be Scurio combo instead. Let's get this main phase Coco going. So Samwise, Cauldron Familiar. Any order. I just realized this Oriok Champion's a problem. I actually can't kill them while this Oriok Champion's out. I need a way to kill it. I'm not even sure I have a way to kill it. Yeah, it's a big problem. It's got pro black, so Gris doesn't kill it. Mm, I can gain infinite life. I definitely can gain infinite life. But, like, I can kill them with this. <laughs> I guess I can get Yogmoth. Theoretically, infinite life. This would have been the kill for the record. That's not for a while. I guess I'm gonna scry. So I'm gonna scry Yogmoth on top. Bow Masters. Nope, it's got Pro Bow Master also. This sucks. Gonna kill him. Oriok Champion triggers on the stack. No, it goes first. I guess during their upkeep, I could. Right? During their upkeep. Then they'll be the active player. I'm not the active player. Then I can kill them with all the Oriok Champion triggers on the stack. Alright. Call. Cool. Instead of yielding to this, I shall simply do this over and over. Alright. Weird workaround way of killing them. But I guess it works. It's going to be such an interesting stack. Alright, they gave up. Wow. Whoa. First time that's ever come up in the history of ever. Alright, um, up against creature deck, so I need this pile on. Gotta construct additional ones to put in our main deck. And I think maybe I take out the endurance. I think I want to board super heavily here. I think that's good enough for now. Until I know exactly what they're playing. How did the trigger stacking work to kill them? So I killed them in response to the Oriok champion. Since they were active player, they had turn player priority, which means that their trigger went on the stack and was gonna resolve it went on the stack first, so it was gonna resolve last. Which means that with all the Oriok life gain triggers on the stack, I just kept sacrificing the cat in response to them. So I was draining them before they were gaining life. Very, very interesting way of killing somebody. It worked though. Yeah, they felt safe. And then they weren't safe. If essentially killed them on turn 3 with that collected company. Just turn 3, turn 4. We were the faster creature combo deck there. And it's good too. Turn one halfling, turn two Samwise Cat. I want to play the Utopia Sprawl. I 
I just play Grist on two. I might just play Grist on two instead. Oriok, nothing. It's Grist time. You know what I'm surprised about? I haven't seen any bugs from the new set yet. Normally when these new sets come out, there's at least like a handful of new bugs that arise with them. Arise, bugs, arise. No bugs so far. Everything's working as intended. When the battles came out, there was a hell of a lot of bugs. Heliod. I wonder if they smack Grist. So every time I play Creature, this Oriox champion is going to grow. What's up, Bunny? I think I'm just playing Yogg and taking up Grist. Oh no. We've made it too powerful. Yogg's another sack outlet that combos with Cat Samwise. Excuse me, Samwise. It's just another sack outlet. It's a four mana Visser Seer here. Also draws a bunch of cards, which can sometimes be relevant. That is a chonky Oriok champion. Next turn we have the kill and their upkeep. Oriok champion is surprisingly good against us. Got protection from everything but our halfling right now. And Navarro is coming in with the raid too. Thank you. Hope you had a wonderful stream. How was Hammer? Hammer with Chapinu, right? That's what you played? <laughs> you look away from magic for a few months and you come back to Samwise Gamgee combo? Oh, of course. Modern's kind of spicy right now. At least for the next few weeks until everything goes back to creativity. <laughs> it all returns to creativity at the end of the day. Mm, I think I killed this. I don't think you should survive. That'll be super spicy for three days. Run with the lifelink. So they're dead in their upkeep here. Same way as last time. We go with Samwise. Uncounterable Samwise. Ultra familiar. Then in their upkeep, we shall murder them. I should make a Grist token too. Just in case they need a cord for a piece if they have a removal spell. Let's see if they have a removal spell here. <laughs> I guess I can combo in response to this, right? Yeah, we can combo in response to this. I actually have to cord for something. I gotta make another food token here. Nice, we got it. Nice. A little bit of 3 2. Not bad. I think it has potential. Feels good, man. So what did we lose to? We lost to Scam, because they furied the ever-living hell out of us. And then we lost to... Oh man, what else did we... Oh, we lost to Jeskai Breach, that's right. Bubble Hulk version. I don't know if it meshes very well with this list. This was a sweet list, though. How's that went through Oriok Champion? So with all the Oriok Champion life gain triggers on the stack, we just keep getting back Cat, and then we drain them. Since they are active player, they have turn player priority which means their trigger goes on the stack first and resolves last, and we can combo with Cat while all the Oriok triggers are on the stack. So we still win through Oriok Champion, as long as we do it on their turn and not our turn. If we do it on our turn, the Oriok Champion resolves before our Cat trigger resolves. Kind of a convoluted line. It's absolutely not illegal to post bruise. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>